Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with Be Creative, and I am a bit overwhelmed. So I had the privilege to be a part of a very special group called Southern Sass. Southern Sass is a group of line dancers. Ages 55 and up. And we worked really hard at perfecting our dances so we could go out and perform for the public. We had so much fun, and all the ladies, they are some great ladies to know. And we had some pretty cool costumes, too. We were mostly known for our hats. We practiced two or three times a week, and about two or so times a month, we were out performing. And then the big C happened. <laughs> I was 60 years old and the youngest in the group. Most everybody was in their 70s, the oldest one being 80. And unfortunately, when you get to be that age, a few years can make a lot of difference. As we slowly were coming back from lockdown, we realized that we weren't the same group anymore. Some of us had moved away. Others of us had developed some health issues. Sadly, for some of us, our heart just wasn't into it anymore. Southern Sass still exists. We're down to five people. Mostly, it's about four people that meet once a week. We do not perform. We just get together and reminisce and have lunch and dance. But there has been a new group that has kind of gathered itself. And... Uh, We've been doing a little bit of performing, not a whole lot, but we go to the VA and other nursing homes, and we have a lot of fun. This group is very different from Southern Sass, and it's a lot younger, too. Line dance classes are still a really huge thing up at the Senior Center. I actually go up to seven different classes each week up there. It's not only great exercise for your body, but it's wonderful for your mind and your social life. And believe it or not, it's good for your spiritual life too. And that's because there's a lot of fellowshipping that goes on during line dancing. All right, <laughs> now I've gotta get myself busy. I'm gonna be going through all this stuff. You see, I kinda of inherited a lot of the old Southern Sass stuff. Here's a lot of our hats. We've got three of these left. We wore these quite a bit. We did a lot of patriot, patriotic functions. Of course, living in Louisiana, we've got Mardi Gras. I never was part of this. I think they did a lot of Cinco de Maya, but that was before my time. Of course, we have Valentine's where we wore fedora hats. We did a lot of different um, Western and we wore turquoise and black. That was really nice. This hat, I have no idea. Again, it was before my time. Southern Sass has been around for over 20 years. So, And then we've got more um, patriotic type hats. And we did a crawfish boil every year. And uh, we wore these a lot. There's some more patriotic stuff. And then this is going to be, I'll show it to you. It's just different. Uh, scarves and items that we used for our costumes. But I don't know what I'm going to do with these hats. I wish there was enough for the new dance group, but I don't think there's quite enough. Maybe for the fedora hats, but you know what? We already have fedora hats. So what to do with these fun hats? So, oh my goodness, <laughs> look at all the Santa hats we have. There's going to be plenty for the new group, for sure. And then look at all the bells. There's a bag of bells here. Another bag of bells. Another bag of bells. Yep, we got plenty of bells. Got lots of bags of accessories, jewelry. Here's some earrings. Look at this cute guy. I think I'm gonna keep him for me. <laughs> He's going in my costume jewelry box. He is so adorable. And I've got lots of fabric and trimmings. Honestly, nobody's really wanting these, so they're going in my craft room. 
And if our new dance group needs any trimmings for costumes, I will have some for them. Oh my goodness. So I done with the Christmas stuff, which was the biggest. Mardi Gras is probably the second. I didn't realize I had all these shanks of Mardi Gras beads. By the way, those of you who don't know, this is how they come. And they take a shank and take the little paper off and start tossing them off the, the different floats. But anyway, I have a lot of Mardi Gras beads and I think I'm just going to add them and then when we need them, I'll know where they are. Look at these. Aren't these beautiful scarves? We have nine of them, so we have plenty for our new group. And those of us that are the old Southern Sass, which I think there's three or four of us, we already have these. So plenty of these to go around. So I went through all of the Valentine stuff and I think we have enough hats to for everybody. And um, anyway, that's gonna be great. Now, <laughs> To go through all the patriotic stuff. Here's an old program back from 2019. Southern Sass Dancers, Where the Eagles Fly. All right, going through some of the patriotic jewelry and stuff, I was like, what are all these pens? You see it? You see it? It's a flag. And here's a bigger one. I think those littler ones, you can see it better. A ton of bracelets. This one, I need to glue that back, but you know what? I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I'm just gonna put it back in the baggie and we can mess with it if it ever gets worn again. So we have all these pens and you know what? We're getting ready in a month or so to go up to the VA and dance. I think I'm just gonna give these out to some of our veterans. And we have these little rubber band things and I think they probably use them on the end of their shirt. And this little bow, you know, I have granddaughters that have a lot of hair and they like to wear it in a ponytail. This would be just good for them. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna switch that out or not. We'll have to see. So the next thing I have to tackle are all these flowers and there's so many of them. We had some of the most beautiful hats that our leader <laughs> made for us for, um, Easter. They were like our Easter bonnets and we each had a color. I was always lavender and um, these were some of the flowers that were used and I kind of inherited them. Honestly, I'm probably going to get rid of the flowers but keep some of the ribbing. And here is my Easter bonnet. You know, it's kind of sad. We never got to wear them after she fixed them. We had some and she just kind of dolled them up a little bit more but COVID came and we never got to wear them. This hangs down so it goes down your back. Isn't it pretty? All right, <laughs> I'm done for the day. I, it doesn't look like I accomplished much, but I am getting really tired and I just need to let this rest and I can come back in here uh, maybe this afternoon or tomorrow. Um, but I have, it doesn't look like it, but I have come a long way. I've culled things down a ton. I've got, instead of the Christmas stuff being in two or three bags, I got it down to one. I've got the Valentine's Day, including the hats, all down to one. That's actually going to be given out to people, so it won't even be here. And I've got our patriotic stuff, except for the hats, and the Mardi Gras stuff, and the St. Patty stuff, all in one box. This is going to be a huge, huge tackling process. So I'm not going to bore you with that. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, I really appreciate you joining me. And y'all have a great day. This is Terry Jeanette with Be Creative signing out for now. Bye-bye.